video I talked about some of the chemical repellents that you can use on your skin and this video will talk about the non-chemical alternatives that are available. So I've got a selection of alternatives here of non-DEET or non-chemical based repellents. So the first one is Nature's Botanical. This is a mix of rosemary oil and cedar oil or cedar wood oil. It's a roll-on uh, we first heard about this particular one in Victoria. For me, and my smell, the cedar wood is probably a stronger smell. Um, once it's rubbed on, it doesn't really leave much of a film. So, effectiveness. When it really comes to mosquitoes and midges, it's not um, overly good. It's, it's okay, you do notice a difference. You do notice a reduction with them. Um, but I would suggest that for flies it actually works quite well so this is the interesting thing with most repellents and flies the flies will still buzz around you but it's whether they land on you when you've got this on you tend to get a lot less flies landing on you but as far as mozzies and midges go if you react to them quite nastily like you come up in welts and so forth it's probably not that good of an alternative for you uh, this version is called Good Riddance. This is a pump spray. And it's got a, a yellowy type of cream that's really thick. And its smell is very pungent. It's a very, very strong smell. So we purchased this from the Mindel Markets up here in Darwin. And from our perspective, it, we didn't find it to work too well. We still were being irritated by midges and mozzies and again if you react to them uh, quite badly this is probably not one of your best alternatives. This one is the locals again this is another deep free version this comes in two two forms so this one's got a cream you rub it on and it's it's okay. It smells pretty low, um, and it, it works okay. This particular one. It also comes in a, a pump spray version as well, so it's quite a clear liquid. It doesn't have an overly strong smell. It's a very light sort of a smell. Uh, after a little while, it evaporates and whilst you can't see it here the film of the spray one isn't too bad one of the things that Chris has found with the creams these types of things is that in the hot weather in the build up and when the humidity goes up the creams become uncomfortable um, and um, they, they create a discomfort of a different type so um, whilst you can use this and it reduces the midges and the mozzies, the impact of those, she prefers this one because it doesn't leave this um, film on that reacts with the more humid weather. So there is a, an old school remedy which is Dettol and you mix it with oil. You can use coconut oil or you can use baby oil. Um, there's all sorts of versions um, out there of views about uh, how much debt on what the ratios are and so forth. Now, effectiveness. This really works well, particularly for midges. It, it makes a, a, a noticeable difference. So out of all the things that we use there, the dead oil is the best um, by far for keeping away the sand flies. And it certainly has a good impact on the mosquitoes as well. 
The downside to it, again, is like the other creams, is that you're plastering yourself with baby oil, um, particularly in the humid conditions. You just become really uncomfortable and s sweaty and icky and so forth. If you were to go, if you need, if you wanted to put this on just before you went to bed, you would want a shower before you went to bed, um, rather than going to bed with this on. So, look, if if you're somewhere remote, it's you're getting hammered by sand flies, uh, and you're going to wear it for most of the day, and you react quite badly to them. The dead oil and the baby oil is a good alternative. Um, the next best alternative probably is the locals sandfly spray uh, and maybe you could mix it up a little bit for during the day in a bad area where you could use the dead old during the day and once you have your evening shower and you're ready to go to bed you could use this and, and um, go to bed and not find it too bad in terms of sticky sheets and that type of stuff so so hopefully you enjoyed the second installment of the video this one was about non-chemical versions of repellent if you did, like and subscribe, and then keep an eye out for the third video in the series, which will talk about other tricks that we use to try and reduce getting attacked by sandflies and mosquitoes.